Look away, Arsenal fans. With two defeats and zero goals in their opening two matches, the Gunners have made the worst start to a season in their entire 118 years history. What's wrong at the Emirates? And is Mikel Arteta the right man to turn it around? Michael, let's start with you. <laughs> yeah, you know, I was having this conversation with a couple of friends of mine, and the reality is there's no easy solution right now as to what's going on there at Arsenal. You know, they've invested a lot of money into their signings this season. However, it, I feel like the continuing narrative is those signings never end up being the right pieces to kind of turn the arsenal around, right? You know, it's not a matter of how much money now they're investing in the club, it's, it's, it's who they're investing in. And I don't know, maybe Mikel Arteta is the guy, maybe he's not, but I don't think there's any coach right now that can really turn this caliber of arsenal team into what they aspire to be, which is, you know, Premier League contenders. So I think the issue right now is not in terms of how the manager is using his, his players as opposed to the players themselves. So for me, I think a complete overhaul needs to happen for, for Arsenal. Yeah, and we don't really see that with Arsenal a lot either, with the signing of players and like getting, you know, any big stars or big, you know, like key midfielders. Like they signed Odegaard, who was on loan there already. So it wasn't even like that was such a big change for them. Um, Jelani? Yeah, yeah. I think that, you know, Arsenal is in shambles right now. Um, their fans are just upset. You see it on socials. And I'm friends with some Arsenal fans and they're upset. And rightfully so, you know, the tactics just aren't there. Arteta, look, there's some reports coming out that his job is in jeopardy. Um, there was something from the Telegraph this morning that said probably, you know, the next five games might determine his future there. Um, you know, they're looking at possible, you know, replacements right now. Conte, uh, you know, one of the uh, names that has been popping up. So I think that, you know, looking at their future matches, you have guys like I think West Brom is coming up. You have Norwich, Man City, um, trying to remember, Burnley. So there might be some wins there, probably. I don't know because we saw how it started. We saw how the season started for them. We weren't expecting that first match to go how it did. Um, but, you know, there's so many things that need to be fixed. Michael said it best. So um, right now, I do think that if you're going to ask me, does he keep the job? I, I hate to say this, but no, I, I don't think so. Just because so many problems have been coming up for this club right now and it's not looking pretty at all. Yeah, absolutely. And do you kind of think that maybe one of the reasons why Arteta has stayed on for as long as he has because of the fact that he is like an Arsenal legend? Yeah, yeah, that definitely plays into it because you could even make the argument that he might have been, you know, better off leaving earlier than what he has. You know, a lot of people felt like, um, you know, it was already time to go for him. So um, I think that does play a big role into this. Nice. All right, guys. So Chelsea and Liverpool have both made strong starts to their campaign. But Liverpool are essentially the same side they have been for two or three years. And Chelsea looked at a very different team with Lukaku leading the line. Are these two clubs evenly balanced for the title race? Or does Lukaku give Chelsea a little bit more edge? Uh, do you want to start with you this time? Yeah, I think that obviously Liverpool is a great club, a uh, great team. They're obviously contending. I do think, though, I'll give the edge to Chelsea right now. I also, I'm not going to lie, I predicted Lukaku going to Chelsea. Um, I heard everyone talking about Holland. He's going, no, no, no. I saw Lukaku going back. He bleeds blue anyways. So it's a, it's a match made in heaven right now. You, you're seeing how, you know, the system will work for him in Chelsea. And that's what they needed. They needed that one striker. I think they were there. They were close, you know, last year and stuff. You obviously saw what they did. You know, Champions League, almost winning it. And last year with PL, they weren't quite there. They needed a bit more talent up front. And they got that right here with Lukaku. So he brings more. And they're not done yet. They might get Kunde. They might get Sal Niguez coming in. So that's more help. You know, that's the, uh, the rumor right now. So I think that Chelsea, if you're seeing what they did with Lukaku and what they're trying to do, I do think that this puts them over the edge right now. Yeah, Michael, I see you shaking your head there. <laughs> What's going through your mind? I was just thinking about the caliber of Chelsea's roster this entire time. Like, 
they're so deep and so scary uh, to think about, like at every position. And you know, they absolutely dominated Arsenal on the weekend, and that was without several key pieces. Like you know, you had a Ziyech on the bench, you had. I don't know who else. Timo Werner on the bench. Mm-hmm. He was uh, N'Golo Conte even playing in that match? I don't even think he was. Like the, the depth on this team is absolutely scary. I think they are a way better team than Liverpool on paper. Now, Chelsea haven't done it for a few years. Is that going to play a factor here? Is experience mm-hmm. going to come into play? Because Liverpool know what it takes. You know, get over the hump and take a Premier League title. I would say on paper, Chelsea is that team favorites to win the Premier League with Liverpool you know a step behind but you never know how this season plays out especially in in a wacky league with the Premier League so we'll see we'll see what happens I also I have to just say I do Milani though in the sense of Lukaku because that's really what they were missing last season like you looked at their bench and you were like how is this team you know I mean they ended up winning Champions League kind of out of nowhere though People, yeah. I feel like, fell asleep on them. But Lukaku, especially last season at Inter, like, the one thing he is pretty can always do is score, no matter how ugly the goal might be, mm-hmm. people put it in the back of the net. So I think I might be agreeing with you guys, or I'm agreeing with Jelani and saying, I think Chelsea has this one. Yeah.